Hickman. Today is Monday, October 6th, and this is Eagle Nation News. Today on the show, we'll give you highlights from the intense Lovejoy volleyball match and Friday night's football matchup against McKinney North. Also, we'll highlight varsity basketball player Alexa Bushy, who does more than meets the eye. Eagle Nation News starts right now. If you're interested in the Science Club, there will be a meeting this Wednesday, October 8th, before school in room 2121. See J Jordan Whitaker or Mr. Heichel for more information. Picture retakes will be tomorrow during all lunches. Seniors that have not taken their senior portraits tomorrow is the last opportunity. Otherwise, your picture will not be included in the yearbook. Underclassmen that wish to retake their pictures need to sign up with Ms. Hamlin by the end of by the end of today, Math Honor Society will hold its first official meeting tomorrow after school in Miss Wood's room 1132. This past weekend, both varsity football and volleyball competed this past weekend. We'll go to Jared with sports. This weekend, our girls cross country team ran in Round Rock and represented Prosper well. The girls placed first at the meet and Carly Graham found herself placing first on her birthday. We would like to congratulate the girls on an awesome meet. On another note, our Eagle Swimmers competed in Irving Sprint Swim Meet. Our boys came out on top and, and won the meet, while the girls came out in second to Louisville, a 6A team. Our swimmers came looking much more polished and showed good potential for our future meets. Now we go to JT Graham for a highlight on last, Friday, on last Friday's football game against McKinney North Bulldogs. The McKinney North Bulldogs came into Prosper Friday night with a chip on their shoulder after losing to the Eagles for the past two years. Coming out the gate, on the very first play of the game, Bulldog highly tauted running back Ronald Jones ran right through the Eagle defense, but then came up gimpy and limped off to the sideline for the rest of the night. The loss of Jones gave the Eagles some hope and momentum, in which they converted into the only lead of the night after a touchdown from Robert Mahone, making the game 7-3. North drove right back down the field and answered with a touchdown of their own, but missed the extra point. The score at halftime was a manageable 9-7. The Eagle defense played a solid first half, racking up more time on the field and expending most of the energy early on. North returned after the half and despite an absent Jones, began to pound on a beleaguered Eagle front, adding a couple of touchdowns from the dual threat of quarterback Nick Hutchins and ultimately put the game out of reach. The offense stalled out and couldn't ever get anything going due to turnovers. Senior captain Zach English became a playmaker of the night and might have given the Eagles enough to get the job done had they not stalled out with a few drive ending penalties. The final score of the game, which featured the premiere of season pass, was 43-19. The Eagles are back at it this Friday at Wiley Stadium against the Raiders of Wiley East. First half, the game looked pretty promising and then in the second half things didn't go our way. Can you explain what happened? Uh, turnovers, penalties, we had a hard time throwing the football. I mean, uh, you know, I thought our defense thought we played really well in the first half. Just some things got away from us in the second half. Go back to drawing board, work on those things next week, and uh, and and get after Wiley East. Um, we came out pretty strong. Second half, we really slacked, so we came, we came, hung with them. First half, second half, they came out ready to play. We didn't, and that's what cost us the game. Last Tuesday, both the undefeated Lovejoy Leopards and our very own undefeated Eagles faced each other in a battle to see who would come out on top. Only one team could stay undefeated and our ladies gave it their all to keep a perfect record and district, but they fell short. Here's more on the game. Last Tuesday night, the Lady Eagles traveled to face Lovejoy. With both teams undefeated, a close game was expected, and so it was. The girls came out battling, barely dropping the first set 27-25. Both teams had a fair share of ESPN plays and a few fluke plays. Our girls' offense definitely showed up Tuesday night as they pounded Lovejoy's strong defense. The second set was once again very close, but Lovejoy pulled out the win again, 25-22. Our Eagles didn't give up, fighting hard against the Leopards. The Lady Eagles would win set three, 25-23, taking it to four games and putting some doubt in Lovejoy's head. 
The girls like to keep the fans on the edge of their seats the majority of the match, making it a nail-biting game. The ladies gave it their best, but couldn't pull out the win with the final score being 25-17. The ladies would get their first loss in district, but are confident that they will dominate the Leopards next time they face them here at the Eagle's Nest. After the tough loss, the girls came out Friday ready to dominate. They swept McKinney North with the final game ending 25-14. Once again, our girls' strong offense came out firing and showed the Bulldogs who is the better team. The Eagles play here tomorrow in the arena. Now here's Jared with the student spotlight. Thanks, Taylor. As a part of today's student spotlight, Aaron Mraz spoke with varsity basketball player Alexa Bushy, who stands out as not only an athlete, but an artist. Many times after school, Alexa Bushy can be found in the basketball gym practicing drills. But when she's not in the gym, she's painting in her garage. What drives this basketball player to pursue painting? Alexa has been painting since seventh grade, and she's gained much of her experience through trial and error. She still feels that even with much experience, she's still an amateur. When I'm on the basketball court, I am constantly thinking, what did I do wrong and how can I fix it? This, it's trial and error. I consider myself an amateur artist, but it's, it's for a few different reasons. I mean, the definition of an artist is not so much one who makes money off of their sculptures or whatever their artistic vision was in which they decided to create. Um, it's more about just knowing what you're doing, knowing how to do it, and in the end, having it turn out really good. Alexa doesn't paint in hopes of achieving fame. She has other goals. This is something that I strive to get better at, but it's not, it's not an intense strive. It's something that's relaxing and that I choose not to be such a perfectionist on. I want to have creative outlets where I'm not always working with numbers, I'm not always working with graphs, because that's, that to me is not fun and it restricts you. I do art because it's creative and it has no limits. Painting is a way for Alexa to express herself and show something more than an athlete. She still feels that she is a better artist on the basketball court. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Erin Mraz. Please come support the Prosper High School's choir in conjunction with Reynolds and Rogers Middle Schools this Thursday, October 9th in the auditorium at 7 p.m. That's all of the announcements for today. I'm Taylor Moore. And I'm Jared Rickman. Live long.